and we're back on the roof. So uh, got a new camera. Uh, we're gonna give this thing a shot. This is the Insta 360 Ace Pro 2. Two. Um, so we're gonna give this a shot. So we got no heat call. Um, they said there was a burning smell and now it's not heating. So uh, let's see what's going on. So here we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this guy up. Now usually when you smell burning smell, it's the blower motor. Ooh, so this is a nail spot. It smells like, uh, <coughs> smells like nail polish. All right, so we got everything opened up. Uh, let's see here. Motor seems to be warm. So we'll see what's going on with that. Filters were just changed out. Oh. Well, our motor's dead. All right, so yeah, she's on thermal overload. Okay, well that makes it pretty easy. So it looks like we're gonna need to just change the motor. Let's see if she's locked up. Oh, she is completely locked up. I can't even spin it. <laughs> so we need to see if that's the motor or the belt. So we're gonna go ahead and take this belt off and just see if it's maybe, the, uh, maybe the wheel is locked up. All right, we're gonna loosen up our lock nut here. Okay, so yeah, our wheel is spinning freely. I found the motor, we're gonna go ahead and order it and we'll be back to replace it. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be here tomorrow, so we're gonna put this all back together. I'm gonna leave the disconnect off and then uh, go from there. So, uh, the magic of editing. All right, so we're back, we got our motor right here. I was lucky, I was able to get this the next day. So, we only had to go one night without heat and thankfully, it's been somewhat warm. Well, anyway, let's see what we got going on for wiring in here. Cool, nothing too crazy. Pretty straightforward. L1, L2, L3. So we need to make note of that for the uh, rotation. Okay, I'm gonna take the whole plate out because I gotta take it out anyway. So I will use my drill for that. And then we will have this thing out so we'll have more room to work instead of trying to do it in that tiny little space. Just be careful when you're doing this because that, right now that tray is loose so it, that motor could slide everywhere. But there's four bolts. There. That's two. And then we got two more over here. Let's slide that one and that's two all right so I'm just go ahead and pick up this whole thing so now we got some more room to work all right I'm gonna go ahead and make a mark of the location of this motor just in case just so we can get everything lined up the way it was little trick when you can't fit it. Yep. All right. So I brought one of these guys, so we'll go ahead and get this all set up. Hopefully we can pull it off. There we go. So we and yes, I did measure how much uh, that's coming out. So yeah, don't forget to do that. I probably should have mentioned that. Um, when you pull these off, you want to see the location so you can get your alignment right. So yeah, because you don't want to stick it out too much compared to the other one. All right, so we're going to install our motor. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hand tighten this stuff first. And then we'll get it all straightened out and aligned. All right, cool. We got the motor on the correct direction this time. Let's go ahead and uh, put this thing back together. Ooh. Alrighty. Whew. Now we need to put our four half inch bolt bolts back in there. And then we have to line our pulley. So and then we'll also have to 
get this thing all set up. Just switched cameras here because I have a feeling that this, the hood was blocking the view. So, uh, you know, and for all you people getting seasick, so let me know in the comments if you prefer the new uh, action camera over my phone. I mean, obviously it's more stable because I can mount it on stuff. It doesn't move like my head, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. Okay, so now I gotta stick my head in here and we need to align this. All right, so I got her aligned, so I just need to tighten up the uh, set screw. All right, cool. We're gonna set this in a minute, but we wanna get this wired first. Okay, so blue is line one, red is line two, and black is line three. Cool, now we just need to get this little plastic grommet thing in there. So now we got that done, we just need to go ahead and set our tension on our belt. Again, we're gonna have to uh, get this little gear thing set up. So what we wanna do is we, wanna, we want it right about there. So we're gonna bring it about here. Oops. And then we wanna turn it so one of the gears goes in the little hole there. So, there we go. There we go. Nope. I want to go back a little more. This way we have room. There we go. There, now it's in. Sweet. All right, cool. So now we'll go ahead and adjust it. Okay, and then we want to have that one kind of finger tight, but just so it's not wobbly. Okay, and then, oh, this is nice. It's actually like not rounded out. <laughs> I'll go ahead and tighten that to about there. So you want about a half inch of play. So I would say that's right about there. You don't want these things too tight, otherwise the motor goes bad, just like this one did. I think that's why the motor went bad, honestly, because I mean, this thing was ridiculously tight. <sighs> All right, cool. So our blower's in there. We just need to put the panel back on. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure. Yeah, yeah, that's actually spinning now. Before it was like really hard to do, and that was just because it was just, this thing was out of alignment, so it was just way too tight. We're gonna put this all back together and uh, cycle it and see what happens. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and power her up. So uh, here we go. We're in test mode. Sometimes there's a slight delay. All right, fan appears to be spinning the correct direction. We're pulling 2.5 amp. Belt's not bouncing all crazy. So looking good, nice and smooth, nice and quiet. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cycle heat, make sure that works. Uh, so we're hitting this for the second time. That's gonna actually, uh, so the first one turns the fan on, second one's gonna make the economizer actuate. Next one should be air conditioning, one. There we go. And then if there's a, if it's two stage, this would be a second stage, but now it's going into heat. Okay, see if the heat works. Okay, we got heat. Yep. Sweet. So yeah, we're good to go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and test this uh, motor. So we're going to ground, line one, open, sweet. Line two, open, sweet. Line three, open, sweet. So it's not grounded. Obviously, it didn't pop a breaker. Now, if we go from line one to line two, four point something, but it shouldn't be bouncing around like that. It should be pretty stable. All right, so we'll go line two to line three. And this should be exactly the same and yeah it should be bouncing around like that okay so let's try line two to line three yeah so the windings are screwed up obviously but that's how you would test it so anyway hopefully this helps you out so thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe comment tell me what a horrible technician i am hit that bell notification and follow me on instagram and facebook and if you want to support the channel pick up some socks pick up some tools on my tool store and uh click on the the affiliate links below and uh, also, um, let me know what you think about this new camera. See if you like this or if we just stick with the old phone. So anyway, see you on the next one.